Alright, this is a little setup I got going on here. As it's always a little setup, as I say. We're running one battery. Um, the reason for that is in this setup, it seems to tear up the reeds pretty good. Um, let me give you an overall view of what I got here. I got this transformer that I made. It's air core. Um, this is a primary. This is a secondary wrapped with some pretty thick wire. I'd say it's 18 gauge. And what I'm trying to do here is uh, be able to isolate what I'm producing off of my back EMF here and storing it on this side of the board run it into that primary and then the secondary comes out goes through two capacitors into this full wave bridge rectifier um, it works better if I have it going through there than directly connected and then I have storage capacitors across that rail there and I'm measuring it directly there and then I have these leads coming back to the battery um, my voltage is steadily climbing um, let's see where she's at right now we'll look at it in a couple of minutes uh, she's running kind of slow I wish I could run it faster by running uh, a little heavier battery and everything but I'm running one of the big coils the reed here to run that coil and then I have this reed taking the back EMF that's stored here and pulsing it to that primary on this transformer now this transformer is a little big than what I expected uh, but I just went I like to go big but uh, it seems to be working um, We'll see if this voltage climbs up any more here as we go. Uh, explain it a little further. The reason why this red one's coming in is because I can't attach it here on this side of the battery. So it's just connected to the red lead here. And then I have the black lead that comes off of my meter here coming back to my negative connection. Um, Actually, it's a green lead. This black one that goes across here is just making the connection so the battery works um, with just one cell there. Let's see. Let's see if she pops up a seven there. She's been climbing. I've been sitting here watching TV. See? And, uh,. Steadily but surely, she's climbing. Um, we'll see what happens here. Running a really slow rate. Uh, been fiddling with this. The, the preciseness of how you set up these uh, reed switches is very, very critical. Uh, you can just sit there and adjust them all day, especially when you got two and you're trying to coincide them for something that you're trying. Ooh, she popped up a seven. Come on, seven. Lucky seven. Come on. There you go. We'll see if we get an eight before the video uh, comes down. But this transformer uh, is 160 wines on the secondary and 40 wines on the primary now my intention was that uh, the reverse EMF the way it's set up and I have this diode I can't run the power back from what I stored over here directly to the battery because it's out of phase it would almost have to go through the second stage that I had up earlier, which I should have tried. Um, but isolating it through this transformer seems to be... Uh, there she goes. She's pounding at 7. I think it'll go to an 8 before we're done with the video. We have 4.5 more minutes before my video runs out. 
really, it's really simple. The the setup it just looks kind of complicated because I have this mob of capacitors here. Uh, just trying different ones. I, I'm not really calculating anything. I'm just going off of the whim and trying different things, like this thing here. <laughs> um, that's trying something new for sure. Um, let's see if she hangs seven there. She's teetering on seven and six. I'm gonna let this thing run till morning and see what we got. Earlier, when I started this, the battery was 1233, and a few minutes ago when I pulled it off, it was 1246, 1245. Uh, so, you know, it could be just something goofy going on in the battery, but we're gonna see. We're gonna let her run. It's running nice and quiet, so I'll be able to sleep with this thing. Uh, but just another one of my crazy tests I've been playing with. There's a little rubble from the last setup. I just build them, record them, and, uh, and I rebuild something else. Idea after idea. But this transformer is kind of cool. You can slide this back and forth. What I did was I wrapped some... Uh, masking tape on this first coil so that this one would be suspended over it but I could slide it back and forth. Um, th this type of coil here is meant for high frequency applications um, but I'm not operating really any high frequency. Uh, if it's getting anything it's getting an instantaneous pulse of the reverse EMF that's happening here. Um, you can see I have these, this is a 0.22 microfarad, this is a 0.33 microfarad, this is a 0 0.033 across that coil as it's being pulsed. So it gives a, a it happens to work, uh, gives it a little resonance on that coil, and this is a 1 microfarad. And then these are uh, 2200 microfarad. There's another one there, so that's uh, 6,600, and then another thousand, and another thousand, um, all in parallel off of this bridge rectifier. But like I said, and these capacitors here are uh, 4.7 microfarad, where the secondary comes off of this big coil, and each end of that goes through. This first one goes to one side of the bridge input, and this other one goes to this side of the bridge input. And then you got your positive, which that little green wire under there goes up to that rail, and the negative goes directly to the negative rail. Oh, look, we're teetering on eight. Isn't that a beautiful thing? We're going to let her run. We're going to let her run, Johnny, and see what it do. And uh, we're at 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So if she hits a 9 beforehand, I don't know. But she's going up a little bit. A little slow running, big fat coil there. And a conglomeration with this crazy transformer. You can see I got all my parts here. I play, play, play all the time when I have time. Lately I have time here and there and uh, sometimes I go overboard. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, we'll let her run till morning see what she does. Alright guys, I'll be back at you tomorrow.